his health is deteriorating. It's been um, almost three years that the that we have seen Saeed, but over two and a half years that he's in, in prison. But his situation has gotten worse. He doesn't have clean water. He's not getting protein. Uh, he's not getting good food. Uh, he continues to have uh, internal pains and, and some bleeding, and his health continues to deteriorate. Skeptics argued that Iran would cheat and that we could not verify their compliance and the interim agreement would fail. Instead, it has succeeded exactly as intended. Our experts will continue to work hard to build on the parameters that we have arrived at today and finalize a comprehensive deal by the end of June. The issues at stake here are bigger than politics. These are matters of war and peace, and they should be evaluated based on the facts and what is ultimately best for the American people. I had anticipated that I would battle the Iranian government for my husband's freedom. I never anticipated that I would also ha have to battle my own government. With the U.S. and Iran back at the bargaining table and working to finalize an agreement, it's time to bring Pastor Saeed and the other Americans home. Add your name to our new petition right now, aclj.org.